San Jose, efforts to create a new generation of higher towers in downtown San Jose are seen as being near success, with the trade-off being minor impacts on a few overseas flights, according to San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo. Some proponents of economic growth hope that significantly taller buildings will be allowed in downtown San Jose, which, due to its proximity to the city's international airport, has a flattened look, an array of boxy mesas of hotels, office towers and residential high-rises. We are working earnestly to find a path to reach both objectives, taller buildings downtown and a strong and growing airport, Mayor Licardo said in an interview. Multiple key neighborhoods of downtown San Jose, including a western section of the city's urban heart where Google plans a transit-oriented community of office buildings, homes, stores and restaurants near the Durden and train station, have height constraints to ensure jetliners can soar safely above the structures. We're in negotiations with the airlines about the height limits, Licardo said. There are potential trade-offs to get higher buildings downtown. City staffers have prepared alternative scenarios for raising the height limits in downtown San Jose, and now, active discussions are underway with airlines that serve San Jose. Only perhaps two or three airlines, primarily those that connect Asia and San Jose, might be affected. As an example, they might fly with a bit less cargo or fewer passengers, potentially with five empty seats or so, according to the mayor. Experts who are familiar with the downtown believe it makes sense to pave a smoother path to construct higher buildings in the city center. Developers can generate more revenue with taller buildings, and once you are not so limited in height, you can start adding more interesting architectural features, said Nick Dard, a senior vice president with Colliers International, a commercial realty brokerage. You can add spires, buildings constructed in a wedding cake pattern, more variety, plus, pressure could intensify to construct higher buildings in the downtown due to the expansion plans by tech giants Google and Adobe Systems, as well. As the prospect that Duretan Station will add a BART stop and high-speed rail connection, in addition to the existing light rail, Caltrain, Amtrak, Ace Train and Capital Corridor lines that new serve the transit hub. This is going to be downtown San Jose 2.0, said Bob Stadler, principal executive with Silicon Valley Synergy, a land use and planning consultancy. The downtown will have a grand central station of the west. So taller buildings make more sense because property values will be going up. Over the 12 months that ended in September, investors spent $1.43 billion purchasing downtown San Jose properties, according to Santa Clara County Property Records and this news organization's analysis of the property transactions. That's nearly three times the $484 million in downtown San Jose property purchases over the one-year period that ended in September 2017. We don't have to be confined to the squat, little skyline downtown San Jose has had for so long, Stedler said. Regardless of the final shape of the proposals for higher buildings, city officials will ensure that flights will maintain safe operations. The number one priority for all of us is safety, Mayor Licardo said.